You want to get to the one that's going to fire you up? The gift that keeps on giving, repair authorization. I don't, I don't even remember the name of the, the nice kid that called in the other day for repair authorization. I don't remember either. But it was on a drive. It was on a drive by, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. Not. It was like the one before last. I think it was. So a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it was really, really recent. And uh, then what we do, part of our process is, and then we repost those things on the different social media yeah, just platforms trying to start conversations exactly yeah. and so this one was reposted and uh do you think people watch the video or do you think they just comment i feel like this is a lesson in human nature we posted the thumbnail from the youtube video but there is a link to the video so the thumbnail says bye bye diag fee which we might have incited this a little bit Okay, so this this video is about repair authorization. Correct. Would would you like to uh, summarize repair authorization for the people that are just joining us, that are new to the to the program? Well, I would normally, but instead, I would rather if you either now or at the end, there is a viewer slash listener that did exactly what they were supposed to do. And I actually think their explanation of pre-authorization is about as good as I've seen. It's in your little pile here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I was saving so, that for the end. Okay. okay. So, so these we'll come out these, uh, these people, and we're gonna name them too. Robert, hmm, he says, this is tricky one, Chris Collins. Do you charge a consulting fee or a diagnosis fee of a dealership for your services? Not trying to be a just flipping the script. I feel if you have per preformed a service diagnosis of a problem and present the customer with a written estimate to fix said problem, and yes, I will charge Diag for... Here's the problem, Robert. <laughs> They're not parallels. What we do in charging diagnosis, but we don't charge diagnosis. That's we do funny. a strategy session for free. We don't want clients that we don't know what they're like. We will not take a client for coaching if we don't see your financial and talk to you and your people and figure out where you're at. I never once ever say not to charge for diagnosis, but you wouldn't know that because you didn't watch the video. Ay, Dios mío. And how many, how many comments did this thing get? Nobody thought to turn it off. Can 30, you turn it off? 31. 31 comments we got here. Can we undo the internet? Is there a way turn to it turn it off? Can we talk to Al Gore about this? He's the only one that has the flip switch. <sighs> what else you got in there? If you think should be if the work gets performed at you location, you should waive it. I'm not making that up. So that's saying that we I think Diag should, but they... if the work gets performed at you location, you should waive it. But read that. Right there. Just read it. You should, but if the work gets performed at you location, you should waive it. Yeah, and would you think this person watched the video? No, I don't think yeah. so. It's free to everyone. Aren't these videos free? Yes, very free. This is all it is, right? You 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 read these, right? I did you read know it. I'm just gonna get more and more pissed. Yeah, we don't have to continue on that much. Uh, but I do want you to read. Why that. is Phil saying yes, sir? Good luck with everything. So he's responded to something, but I separately printed his repair his authorization thing out. can work much better with an experienced advisor. If you have a customer concern. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got to watch the video. He's, I guess he's talking about diagnosis. You need to take it on a case by case basis. I, that's our doctor brought coffee and cake for the staff when our daughter was born. So they had cake and coffee while I was paying them. I didn't have insurance at that. What? Yeah. So the story that you skipped over there was that um, when the child was born, they had to still pay the anesthesiologist, even though the wife didn't get the epidural. What does that have to do with repair authorization, Daniel? That you, that you pay it. So the story in there is that Do you think Daniel doctor. watched the video? No. But yeah, um, it doesn't. Yeah. It's a cute story, but it has nothing to do with this. Now, can you read Phil? Can you read Phil? Because yes. I'm going to have a heart attack. So, Phil. Great job. He's a service We should manager. send Phil swag. Uh, yeah. So, Phil, if you're listening. Do we know Phil? Um, I don't, but I'd like to. Uh, 
First off, I'd like to connect with you on LinkedIn just in case you're interested. But I it need says, a drink. you do. Um, it says, gang, please watch the video. I think many are not understanding the point he is making. We use a lot of words that mean nothing or confusing to our guests. Other times we waste time. He is not saying waive the diagnosis fee, not charge for one, or not pay the technician. He is simply saying to get a repair authorization up front, which includes diagnosis. You have an idea what the worst case scenario is, and you present that price to the customer up front, getting their buy-in. If they agree to it, then once the technician diagnoses the problem and the estimate is under the authorization mount, amount, there is no wasted time getting a repair approval after a diagnosis. The tech moves right into the repair. It saves everyone time and keeps that technician busy. Boom. Good job, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Yeah. I'd like to send you swag, Phil. Should have never done this. Thanks so much for watching this clip of Service Driver Revolution. We're uploading new stuff every day, so make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss out. If you have a question you'd like us to answer on the show, call 8333-ASK-SDR and we'll answer your question on the show. That's 8333-ASK-SDR. For special deals on our books and training, head over to offers.chriscollinsinc.com. Now that's offers.chriscollinsinc.com. I'm Chris Collins and I'll see you in the next video.